In the article titled The Southern Silk Road from China to India and Across from India by Haraprasad Ray, it was mentioned that after the annexation of Yunnan, when Emperor Ming did set up the Yongsheng Commandery there, it was found that the prefecture was populated by the Minpu, the Piaoye, the Lupu, the Shendu, and the Garo peoples. This was reiterated in few books and few articles later. So what is the support for the claim? We get back to the footnote of the first article by Hara Prasadri. The girls were supposedly mentioned in the Jin Dynasty text, Huayang Guozi, compiled by Changchu. This is the Huayang Guozi. The Nanzhong Zi records the Minpus, the Jiliaos, the Piaoyus, the Lupus, and the Sandus living in Yongchang Commandery. The Jiliaos were supposedly the girls. So how is Garo written in Hanzi or Chinese characters today? We take the first syllable Ga from Gaza. We take the second syllable Ro from Cairo. Ga from Gaza and Ro from Cairo. We form Garo. The last character Ren means person or people. So who exactly were the ancient Julius? In one article submitted to the Journal of Baosan University, it was argued that the Jilao formed the main ethnic group of the Ailao Kingdom. A brief account about the Jilaos or the Liaos can be found in Beisi or the history of the Northern Dynasties. I am reading out selectively. The Liao people are a subgroup of the Nanman or the Southern Barbarians and they can be seen from Hanzong up to the regions of Cheong and Zhe in certain Sichuan. There are many types of them that scatter around the valleys and they have roughly no distinctions of class. The men are called Amo or Aduan, while the women are called Ai or Aden. They build their houses on trees and call it Ganlan. They can lie down on the bottom of a river while holding a knife and catching a fish. The dead are buried in an erected coffin. They only have spears and seals as weapons and don't know about bows and arrows. They use bamboos to make musical instruments and we play together. <laughs>